Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul to share with you. It is a collective haul from three different places. We've got, I'll start with Bath & Body Works first because I'm sure most of you guys are probably wanting to know what I got there. Then whichever, the, the, I got two other places after that. So it's either gonna be HomeSense, which is a discount store here in Canada, or Sephora. So, but we're gonna go with uh, Bath & Body Works first. So that way, if you wanna click out, you can after it's over. What's on my lips on the base is JLo or Jennifer's Nude from L'Oreal Collection Exclusive, one of my favorite nudes. And then on top, I have Buxom's um, Sophia. So, all right, let's start with Bath & Body Works. I will tell you, they gave me a new coupon that is valid July 30th till August 26th, so for a month, it's 10 off of 30. And like there's, this is Canadian, mind you, so I'm sure most of my American uh, waxies and Bath & Body Works lovers have something a little bit different. So anyway, there you go. All right, so I went in for some newness. <laughs> I am so proud of myself. I literally, I bought a couple new soaps for summer because I was almost out and I'm, I'm literally going through two soaps a month at this rate, which is pretty much the rate I normally go through my soaps. So when the new fall scents came out and I really don't have a lot of fall, if any, I think at this point, I definitely stocked up. It was like six for, what was it? Six for 15 or six for, it was six for something. And I can't remember because it's gonna all be broken down now, but. Oh, uh, and I got my entire purchase 20% off, so they took 20% 20, 20 off at the total. Um, all right, so let's just start with soaps. This is Toasted S'mores, and their description, bourbon, vanilla, and, oh, sorry, toasted marshmallow, bourbon, vanilla, and cinnamon sprinkles. Um, I think, I feel like they could have, it's very tinted yellow. I feel like, again, I'm not super picky on packaging, but the photo... Could have gone a, a little bit um, prettier, if that makes sense. I mean, yeah, it is a s'more, but I can see like a better s'mores picture come out of that. Anyway, it smells really good. Definitely got the grain cracker nest to it. I like the foaming hand soaps. That's what I generally purchase. Um, <clears throat> I know that it dries people's hands, but I always use lotion and things like that. Now, I think this is just a different repackaged name, but I believe I've had this before, Jumping in Leaves. I want to say probably circa 2015 or 2014. I don't know. It smells really good. It's nice and fresh. It's definitely like a crisp unisex. It's not sweet. It's not floral. It's not fruity. It's definitely a fresh scent. I'm glad I picked that up. Pumpkin Cupcake. This is a staple. I've had this one in the past. Just a repackage of uh, Pumpkin Cupcake. And oh, I should read the other one too. This one, pumpkin cupcake is baked pumpkin, whipped vanilla frosting, and golden honey. So baked pumpkin, yeah, so there you go, that's that one. And let's look at the leaves one, <clears throat> what it says. Cranberry oak and uh, cypress leaves, and it's very nice. And by the way, don't mind the swatches. I, like I said, I went to Sephora and was swatching some liquid lipsticks. That's only on there for like less than five minutes. Anyway. Pumpkin apple, which is one of my favorite candles, and I didn't buy any, you'll see, I didn't buy a pumpkin apple candle from Bath & Body Works because I have so many in my stash, I wasn't going to go and buy another one. This is Red Delicious Apple, Fall, Pumpkin, and Clove Buds. So, give this one a sniff. Oh, perfection. This is definitely for me, this would be like, like late fall, maybe October. I would say, oh, I'm totally stretching, stretching out here. It is so hot here right now. And my AC and my car decided to kick the bucket last week. And I'm just like, oh. so, I mean, I'm thankful, I guess, that my fan has decided to kick the bucket um, now versus in the winter when I need the heater to frost. But uh, I'm trying to get to the shop because <laughs> I have to sit there and wait for them to do it. I have to find, I have to carve the time. But, oh my God, I'm like, I'm very uh, glisteny. Uh, coconut pumpkin latte. I almost picked two of these up. This is coconut cream, whipped pumpkin, and warm praline. Um, and you know, I might go back in there again. Oh yeah, it smells really, ugh. it smells really good. So I really like that. So you're gonna cross my legs again. Oh my goodness, it is so warm. <laughs> Last soap I picked up was marshmallow pumpkin latte. So yeah. And this one is creamy pumpkin toast and marshmallow warm praline. It's just the same as, oh. Hot. 
it's very similar other than the, the coconut obviously has coconut to it but this one that's the only difference so anyway moving on i love all of them to the candles now they had selected few again this is canada so they select few 15 dollars each then they had two for 39.95 i <clears> can't <throat> seriously those are so expensive and that i know I didn't buy, I only bought one multiple today and that's because I've been begging for this type of scent to come out again and I've talked to you guys know, you've been following me for a while, most of you, so you know how much I love a certain scent and we'll get there in a sec. So anyway, my friend Brita put me onto this one and I 100% agree with her. This is absolutely gorgeous. The perfect autumn, uh, white barn. Oh, just the right amount of spice. Again, I'm not a huge cinnamon person, but there's this nice little mixture of spice, like clove and cinnamon, a little nutmeg, apples. It definitely smells like a cider. Like it says the perfect autumn, but it definitely smells like a cider to me. And I had to get this. Now, the, there was only one scent that had the really cool lid on top, so it wasn't this one, but it's marshmallow musk. Now this is fantastic. Oh, I'm going to have to put a lid on you. I have lots of lids, extra lids. So that is that one there. And I, whoa, look, kind of like my nails. Look at the middle finger. I'm not fingering, I'm not flipping you the bird, but uh, that's kind of the idea of my nails as well. And two of my nails in each hand is to um, do marble. So I love that. The vanilla, um, sorry, the marshmallow musk was awesome. Okay, on to the thing that I bought two of, because you guys know I love this. It's intense coffee. So I had to get two because, well, let's be honest. You guys know I've been craving and I love the lids for this. So that's my outside. Actually, it's kind of cool with the trees. Oh. I truly do not want to burn this. I literally just want to put one of these in the freezer, put the other one away, chop it up because I know how it's so much more economical that way for me to chop it up and get 14 and a half ounces of a really great scent melt this on the weekends on my days off oh fantastic so again got two and vanilla pumpkin marshmallow this is just it's a staple i really again they stepped up the lids but i wish they, if what we're why if why we're paying more and more is for things things like this just give me the basic lid i don't care that much this is lovely i don't smell any pumpkin i definitely smell vanilla and like a creamy marshmallow which is like vanilla anyway i wouldn't say i get pum pumpkin um, this is a staple for me. This is one of my favorite scents in fall. I like Cider Lane, but I prefer Autumn is my fall or autumn autumnal candle of choice. This is one of my favorites. There's a little, oh, that's super cool, hey? Ugh, just sniffing this. I can't wait till, I'm gonna say it's probably, I'm gonna stretch out my legs. I'm gonna go further back. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be, Around here it doesn't get like crispy in the air until end of September, beginning of October, and even then it can still be pretty warm. Sorry, I'm trying to sit up. I'm like all legs, like I'm pushed all the way. Hey, hey. <laughs> I push all the way back because my legs are so tired and so hot. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's what I would say. I would melt this one for sure. So autumn, I love autumn. Only bought one because I have autumn in my stash but I just couldn't leave without picking one up. And Toasted S'mores, this one to me smells like the Spice It Up, the one that was like cinnamon raisin bread. That's what this one smells to me on cold. So there's that. And the last candle I purchased was Campfire Donut. Oh, I actually think I prefer on cold hiccups. On cold, I think I prefer Campfire Donut more than I prefer the um, toasted s'mores, but I am looking forward to giving it a shot. All right, so we've got a couple more things. I'm trying to move around. Oh, sorry, you guys. This must be really annoying if you're not already annoyed, but um, I've not tried face masks at from Bath & Body Works ever, and I do like face masks, so I thought, well, I'm going to go and I'm going to try a couple, and they had three for $12 or something like that, so I picked up three. And they're all three of them are face masks, like sheet masks. Hyaluronic acid gel sheet mask for moisturizing hyaluron, hyaluron, 
hyaluronic acid. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I'm falling apart. Rose water sheet mask for illuminating rose water. And the last mask I got was illuminating sheet mask with triple berry complex. That's this one here. And then I got a few hand lotions. I'm getting low on hand lotions. So I picked up Poolside Pop. This is, I still bath and buy uh, Good Vibes Only, which is vanilla coconut. Good Vibes Only. And the last one here is called Sparkling Lemoncello. And the last things I picked up was four for, I wanna say it was four for 12 as well. These scent portables. I'm almost completely out. I think I only have two left. And like I said, I've been really good about just really trying to get through my stash. But I did buy two autumns. I love my car smelling like autumn. Also, I love my car smelling like pumpkin cupcake. Although I find this one to be on the weaker side. Don't find that one throws as well. And sweater weather. All right, so if all you wanted to do is watch the Bath & Body Works haul, that's where it ends now. I'm gonna go into, um, oh, wait, one more thing. I got one more of these uh, shower poofs from Bath & Body Works. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna go into Sephora and then a little tiny bit of home goods at the end. So I hadn't been into Sephora since, I wanna say, I missed, the, I didn't, I purposely didn't go to the sale in the fall, I didn't go to the sale in the spring. I'm, I was VIP Rouge last year, but this year because I haven't purchased anything, I didn't get to continue my status. So I want to say it's probably late November, beginning of December of 2017, the last time I was inside the store. And lots of things have come and go, gone and lots of changes, um, but there are some staples I really, really needed. Now, first of all, I will say that today, I don't know if it was just today, but if you purchased anything in store you got a free face mask of your choice a sephora face mask which was awesome because it was like well yeah it was one of my favorite face masks hands down is from sephora so i was able to purchase that um and also anastasia Be or anastasia beverly hills uh all of their either liquid lipsticks or lip glosses it was on a promo of buy one get one free so i've never tried any product other than the modern renaissance palette for my eyes um, so I really wanted to take advantage of that. And then there were some colors that I thought, again, some colors that I swatched that I can't get off. But that's what scrubs for. Um, oh, I will say before I start showing you what I picked up, I was in the Marc Jacobs section and all their white package, most of her, his stuff is packaged with black with little silver clasps, like their shadow palettes and all that stuff. There is this little section, at least in my Sephora, that was a limited edition ones and everything's white a white packaging where it would be black normally. And I went and I gravitated to this eyeshadow palette and I, I would have bought it. I would have bought it, I swatched it, it looked really great. Um, it blended out really nice on my hand anyway. But then I got to thinking. I picked up the L'Oreal um, Life's a Peach palette, like it was like the, pe the one that smells like peach. You're gonna see that in a video soon, perhaps favorites. Uh, anyway, and I looked and when I was watching them, I'm like, I can't buy this $65 Canadian for like, I don't know, what is it? Six or eight shadows. And they're identical. They are really, the colors are identical from what I can find in the other palette I paid $22 for, for like, what is it? 16 shadows or 12 shadows or something like that. So I was like, okay, no, I gotta put it back. But had I not purchased the L'Oreal one, I probably would have got in trouble and purchase the Marc Jacobs one. So, okay, I'll show you what the free face mask that I chose, which is my favorite, is the pearl face mask. So I am loaded with face masks right now. Um, also, some staples. I have had the same, don't shoot me, I know it's unhygienic, but I clean it, and I have replaced the rubber in the my old Tarte uh, lash curler but it's coming up to be two years old. So it's a really, really old, it's a, it needed to be replaced. And I have replaced the little rubber thing in it once before, but now I'm on the only one. So anyway, I bought another Tarte um, Picture Perfect is what it's called, high performance. What are you? It's eyelash, eyelash curler and it comes with a uh, lights, camera, lashes, four in one mascara, little sample, which is always nice to put in your bag for traveling. I have tried, drugstore eyelash curlers 
and for years I had them, but I found that they really pulled on my eyelashes and I ended up, you know, I would take an eyelash out or something um, when I would go in to use an eyelash curler. When I switched to the Tarte one that I currently have right now, oh, such a difference. I know a lot of people say Shiseido ones are amazing too, so that's something I like to try down the road, but I really do enjoy the Tarte one. The one I have is a bejeweled on the bottom. You'll probably see it in an empties at the end of the season, but i um, glad I picked up another one. It's $22, but I think about it, yeah, I've had the other one for like two years. So $22 is actually, when you break it down, I don't think it's a bad deal. My justification in my head. Something else was a repurchase of mine because I love Gimme Brow by Benefit. So I picked this up. My color is number three, I want to say, yeah, number three. And I've had the old one. I've had the old one, it was gifted, it was like teeny tiny little sample size one I got in my stocking from Santa one year. And I loved it. But then they had this whole debacle over this stuff. Something was going wrong and causing breakouts or scabbing or something like that. And they reformulated. It took a really long time for my Sephora to get the reformulated version. In fact, the last time I went into the Sephora, like I say, it was late fall, like right around Christmas time. They still didn't have it out, but when I went in today, I was like, I brought my old one too. I'm like, I brought it with me. I'm like, I'm trying to color match this because everything's rubbed off off of it. There's no, like, I can't even tell you what color it is. So anyway, it turns out I am a number three. This is a staple product as well. Uh, these are the two lip glosses I ended up getting from Anastasia Beverly Hills or Anastasia Beverly Hills. Both are lip gl glosses. And we have one in Toffee and one in Parfait. And let's see. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> so this is the top, right? This is Toffee? Yeah, Toffee. So right up my alley. <laughs> totally a, a Kim color. I'm not sure if I like the, uh, the paddle on it. Like it's a paddle versus a nice hug your lips kind of doe foot. But that's it right there. But that's a, definitely a Kim color for sure. And then the other one is Parfait. Okay, Parfait, Parfaito. And I decided to get this because I wanted a topper. I thought in summertime being bronzy and like, although I'm not getting a lot of sun, I'm putting bronzer on and things like that. I thought, well, I'll try this one. So it's very glittery. And this one just, it screams like a peachy golden color. Oh, so good. I'm just gonna put it on above that there. So anyway, love this. I can't wait to get, like really get into it. So there's that. Oh, again, it's one of those things when I go in there to Sephora and there's this blush I've wanted for so long by Tarte. And it's like everyone and their mother has talked about it. Every big YouTuber, beauty guru has talked about this being their favorite. Um, excuse me, and I can't find this color anytime I go in there. And so today I went in and it was there. Yes, it's Tarte's High Performance Naturals Amazonian Clay. Um, what is it? It says 12 hour blush and it's in the color Exposed, which like everyone says, I 100% agree. It looks like nothing inside the pan. Like, I guess I gotta open it first. Oh, take a little bit off here doesn't look like much of anything inside the pan at all but when you swatch it and everyone puts it on their face it just looks see it's a little bit natural I think I need to put it on my cheeks but yeah it's just uh, because you really can't see it right here but I know I've seen it in so many youtubers that I follow beauty gurus swear by this and again that color is exposed and you can pop that out there see that little hole up there if you have a um, um, magnetized palette you can pop that out and put it in if that's what you wish I'm a little like my bigger splurge because I have enough shower gel. Here's my mandalic. This company came out with lotions, shower gels, lip balms, you name it, they got it. But I have enough lip balms. I don't have enough shower gels, lotions, and all this and the other. But when I saw this, I'm like, I had to because I love the smell of this. It is Impanila, Impanima, Impanima Sunset Glow Oil Illuminator. Oh, it's in, it goes in Spanish. And, Translucent transfer resistant shimmer for body and face. Now I'm not putting this all over my face. That's the box there. That's the picture of what I'm gonna pull out to share with you. And it smells gorgeous. There's only one problem. The, the, 
the dispensary of this product. So first of all, there's the lid. It's, it's whatever, it's really cool. It's a cool looking lid, not that I really care that much. But you take the lid off and it just tells you everything. It's got what it's good for, illuminator and so many languages and you gotta give it a good shake. And what I will say is, oh, it's sealed. There's no pump, no nothing. You literally have, not that I'm going to, but you would literally put it in your hand, dip it back down and like really rub it into your skin. So my idea is to put my decollete on. My, I'm wearing a lot of um, cold shoulder type um, shirts. So, you know, in those areas, but I will say that I, I kind of wish there was a spray on it or something because I'm, I can feel myself being the klutz that I am spilling it all over the place. So that was definitely a very big splurge. This is the most expensive single product I purchased. This was $44, but I figured these types of products will last a really long time. This will last me a few summers and the smell is divine. All right, so last place I went to was HomeSense, which is a discount store in here in Canada. It is like uh, Marshalls, Home Goods, that kind of thing. Sorry, I think I just touched the thing. I've got lip gloss. Anyway, <laughs> ooh, considering what I'm gonna show you next. I just got some really nice terry cloth towels for doing dishes. This is my favorite color. Love that, I love white and mint green. And then there's some more dish towels. I mean, it's pretty boring. I mean, these are $7.99. Each of them comes with a set of two. Then I saw these and I'm like, I have to have them. <laughs> you guys, I got new pillows, like for my couch. Yay, it's a maple leaf and it's so cottagey and I love it. And they were $30, they were a splurge, but they're really soft. It's a flannel-y type um, feel to them, but they're really soft. Of course, it's got the maple leaf on both sides. So I got one and I got two. So I just thought that would be so, so cool in my living room. So anyway, that is my ginormous haul that I haven't done a haul like this in ages. So I am going to like, try to cool off now because I'm so warm. All right, you guys, thanks so much again for tuning in. We are almost at 3000 subscribers. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but we, as in you and I, we had our third anniversary. Uh, July 24th was my, or our three year anniversary here on YouTube. So thank you everybody. If it wasn't for you guys watching, I still wouldn't be doing this. I enjoy watching. I follow so many YouTubers. Uh, t more so in the wax community, I've gotten rid of a lot of the big, big named um, beauty gurus who I used to follow a lot of. Now I just follow a few staple ones. And um, yeah, so I'm really loving it. I'm enjoying it still. And obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. I met so many of like really awesome people. And I've said this before, this is the 21st century's version of Pen Pal. 100% agree with that. <laughs> like I totally believe that in my heart of hearts. Um, and I thank you guys all very, very much. So as always, you guys, be safe, take care, and have fun, everyone. Bye.